And that's the whole beat right there. on youtube my name is q if you don't know already and welcome back to the channel before we get started go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications on because like half of you aren't even subscribed and that's just a little crazy so let's change that and as always follow me on instagram at quentin bobbitt i have links to all my social medias in the description so if you want to know any of my social media just hit that link below but anyways if you guys did not already know the split mind team just got a house and that is where i am right now so come check it out so this is what the house is looking like right now. You got the boy Brian over here editing, editing some videos. Good. And if you peep out there, we got the view. Anyways, let's get into the actual video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make some emotional piano beats. Something you can see like Rod Wave or little TJ make. In my opinion, these beats are actually pretty simple to make. The chord progression is usually easiest. And then you got to do a top melody, which is a little harder, but it's not as hard as you think. So let's just jump into the video and learn how to do that. All right, so I got this FLP pulled up and I have the BPM set to 159. So first thing we're going to do is just go to the scale highlighting and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be using. It's going to be A sharp minor natural. And the first thing we're going to do is just lay down some triads and continuously build from there. So the way I'm going to do this is for some melodies, Usually you want to start at the root note of the key of the song, which would be A sharp. But what I'm going to go do is, because I know I'm going to be using three chords for right now at least, I'm going to go three semitones down, or not three, but three keys down that are actually in the scale. We go from A sharp, to G sharp, down to F sharp. And I'm just going to build a triad right here. So you do this by just skipping one note in the uh, scale, or the next note, skip another note in the scale, and boom, you got your triad. And then I'm going to go up to the next note in the scale, G sharp and do the same thing and build another triad. And then the final triad will go right here. All right, yeah, so I like that. So now what I'm going to do is just fill out the entire chord progression. So we're going to take these bass notes and just shift click them and bring it down an octave. And then these middle notes, do the same thing, shift click and bring them up an octave. And this will just fill it out a little better. Now what we're going to do is replace addictive keys with Keyscape, which is an Omnisphere patch or something i don't even know like a subsection of omnisphere that has uh, a lot of piano types in it you go to keyscape and i usually like this uh c7 softest right here usually sounds pretty good in my opinion now what i'm going to do is just click alt r on my keyboard to randomize and we're going to pull the velocity down all i'm going to be doing is a velocity this will just randomize the velocities make it a little more realistic then we're going to hit Alt S to strum it just a tad bit. It's about perfect. Then one more thing I'm going to do before we do anything else is even the bass notes and bring them down just because I want the bass notes consistent. Then I'm going to duplicate it over for eight bars. And on these eight bars, I'm going to bring this the top note in the triad up an octave just make it a little more cinematic. So now what I'm going to do is just try and find a top melody and I'm probably going to use my MIDI keyboard for this just because I, I usually do my top melodies with my MIDI keyboard just a little easier for me to get the idea out of my head. So 
that sounds pretty good. Obviously, a lot of that is unquantized and just a little off grid. So we're going to go in the piano reel, piano roll and just fix that up. Oh yeah, I like this a lot. Now what I'm going to do is just route both of these to the mixer track. Boom, and for the first piano, the basic chord progression, what we're going to do is just add an RC retro color just to add some like wear and just make it sound a little more retro. And then next for this part of the piano, what we're going to do is first EQ out a lot of the mids and lows of this. And then what I'm going to be adding is this preset from Waves Cassette. This preset in factory right here called Corsi. Static down. Then I'm going to add some reverb. I'm going to go and just use the basic 3D reverb too. <coughs> and I'm going to find a one shot pad or like something like that just to fill out the rest of the melody. And we're pretty much done after that. Yeah, I like this sound, so we're just going to EQ it out a little bit, take out that low end, the high end. And boom, that's the melody right there. So let's get started right on the drums. That's right, so what I'm going to do is just bring a pattern into the playlist. Actually, we're going to make a new one just for the drums. Boom, boom, boom. And we're going to make it eight bars long. Let's duplicate that over for a little bit. And then let's get started on the drums. First thing I'm going to do is a clap. I'm going to be using my kit here. Which is uh, Q Volume 1 Essentials. I know my name isn't Q anymore, but you get the deal. So if you want to hit that kit, I'll have a link down in the description. All the sounds you hear will be from my kit. Get this hi hat pattern over for eight bars, and then let's go on to the next thing. Let's go with an open hat. Super open hat here, just normalize this. We're using this reverse open hat. Get a super basic snare pattern going. And time for the 808, we're going to be using the spins, obviously, because that's just kind of like the rod wave, like a little TJ vibe. So I'm just going to cut itself on the 808 and turn it up. And then we already know the chord progression because we just made the melody. But if you need to, but if you're trying to do your 808s and you can't get them to sound in key, the best way to do it is bring the 808 like an octave or two up just so it's more high pitched. And just listen with your ear. And once you develop the sound, you'll get to know what sounds good and what doesn't. here is go into the envelope settings of the 808 and just adjust the knobs like this just so the note only plays for as long as the 808 is held and we're just going to do some uh Here is something like a little 808 roll. I'm 
going to bring this over like this and we're going to change the pattern to or the grid to a sixth beat and we're going to just cut it like that we have the roll velocity go up like that i'm going to bring it down an octave see how it sounds perfect last thing we need is a kick so let's get it using this one for my kit called nuke usually goes pretty well with the spins i probably got to turn that 808 down a little bit though That's the whole beat right there. All right, guys, so that was the whole beat. So you know the deal. The video is over. I'm going to play the beat by the end if you want to hear it all by itself. But before I go, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you learned anything, if you enjoyed the video at all, make sure you hit that like button. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell just so you know when I'm uploading. You don't want to miss out on these because I'm dropping dimes. And like I said, we're in the split my house now. So you don't want to miss this stuff. As always, follow me on all social medias at Quentin Bobbitt, especially Instagram. If you want to get in contact with me, hit me with a DM. That's all I got for you guys. I will have to see you guys in the next one. Doses. <laughs>